Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of peripheral nerve sheath tumor. Yesterday we have posted a video of cuff hematoma. Today we are going to show you another case of that area with a different diagnosis. A 67 year old male patient came with right cuff swelling for two years. So it has a long history. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see an ovoid shaped mass at the cuff region beside the right gastrocnemius muscle. It is heterogeneously hypoechoic. You can see the central part looks echogenic, about which we'll talk a little bit later. If you check carefully, the ends of this lesion is getting tapered here. It's a very important point and if you check carefully, it goes outward from the lesion on both sides. This lesion lies along the level of tibial nerve. So this might be the part of tibial nerve and it indicates it to be a case of nerve sheath tumor. And the picture of the lesion, the surrounding architecture looks quite normal. You can see the tapered end here. If I freeze the image, there is a hypoechoic elongated structure coming out from the mass. This elongated structure is the peripheral nerve, possibly the tibial nerve as it lies along its course. Another magnified image of the lesion, you can see the echogenic central part here. This central hyperechogenicity represents fibrocollagenous component surrounded by the hypoechoic peripheral tissue of myxoid component. This appearance is very common in neurofibroma. Here's the still picture. You can see the ovoid mass with the tapered ends. This is the part of tibial nerve here. Central hyperechogenic and the peripheral hypoechoic components are seen. The mass measures around 3 cm by 2 cm. Here is a magnified image with echogenic central and hypoechoic peripheral components. Now what about the color doppler? We have put color doppler, it shows the moderate internal vascularity. The peripheral flow is prominent. Here's the color doppler pictures showing moderate vascularity. We have took sample from the artery within the lesion showing high resistant flow. We have put the power Doppler and you can see predominantly peripheral flow. Here's the still picture of the power Doppler showing predominantly peripheral flow. Here's a four dimensional image of the lesion. This may not be useful but good to practice. You can also use the skeletal mode of your 3D setting that will give you an idea about the internal calcifications. I always recommend you to use color Doppler as well as three dimensional ultrasound in any lesion comes in front of you. Here's the still picture of the lesion on three dimensional image. It was scanned with the curvilinear volumetric probe, so the detail is not so good as it's a superficial lesion. 
So in summary, an ovoid heterogeneously hypoechoic well-defined mass with tapered ends with no definite surrounding architectural distortion is seen along the right gastrocnemius muscle. Color Doppler shows internal moderate vascularity with predominantly peripheral flow. So this feature is concluded to be a case of peripheral nerve sheath tumor. Now the take home message. This central hyperechogenicity represents fibrocollagenous component and the surrounding hypoechogenic area represents mexoid component. This central hyperechogenicity and peripheral hypoechogenicity is forming the target sign which is commonly seen in neurofibroma. If you give a follow up, please be careful about the tumor size. If it is getting increased in size suddenly, then this central echogenic area may represent the intratumoral hemorrhage. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. Don't forget to visit imagingstudy.com to get more cases. We try to post videos on our YouTube channel and the cases where we only save the pictures, we post them in our website. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.